I'm Anthony Belante. I'm the staff visual journalist at the Puget Sound Business Journal and our newsrooms in downtown Seattle. I got hired at the Business Journal in 2010-2011 uh, as, as a staff photographer at the paper here. One of the reasons I was hired was because I was capable of shooting video too. And one of the challenges over the years was as the industry got better and, and everyone got more talented and the look of video uh, both in studio and out of studio got better, I realized I need to improve my product, which I needed resources to do that. For those eight and a half years, I would convert that conference room into a photo studio. I realized I needed to come up with a way to build a photo studio from scratch um, to keep that quality product coming into the newsroom, both photo and video. This area that we're in now used to be a storage area. Two years ago, I did a video of the governor and he was in here and I could not get rid of that HVAC hiss and that just pushed me over the edge. That's when I literally sat down and I started to just really sketch it out and go, wow, who in the Puget Sound area could actually help me make my dream photo and video studio come to reality? And I realized it was PNTA. PNTA is hands down. I just, I love working with the team and everyone's been fantastic with helping me make what now is a hyper productive photo video studio. But the balance was great because it was that overlap to do sound and light protection so that nothing would bleed into this really sterile space. When I close the curtains, it's just, it's a perfect cave to do exactly what I want to do to control lighting and sound. When I went to PNTA, I think the biggest response I knew that that Shannon and, the, and her team to build was perfect was when she came out here with me and we got to know each other over a two month period. And I could see that she was developing the track. She came out two or three times with the test tracks, the test uh, curtains, and also the test uh, buffer blankets that we use to keep the HVAC uh, quite sound down. And it just all worked, it all worked. Your curtain designer and builder, for her to fabricate something that did three things for me, control light, control sound, and at the same time, be very mobile. I could, I could use these curtains in a very modular way. I could open them up for daylight. I can close them up for, for video and, and control still photo lighting. So it, just, it was just the best fit all around.